Our second speaker is uh, Pastor Huang Cheyan. He is the director of Research and Development Center of General Assembly of Presbyterian Church in Taiwan, which is the organizer, uh, host of uh, today's event. And China Aid is honored as the co-host. And Pastor Huang, uh, especially since uh, 2011, has been uh, personally involved uh, in helping the victims of uh, religious persecution from mainland China. Of course, has an out uh, loud speaker uh, for advancing religious freedom in Asia. Uh, I will talk from the experience of Presbyterian Church in Taiwan. What can Taiwan do for religion freedom? Yonghe Community College in New Taipei City held a course on June 11 titled A Historical Tour of Chiang Kai Sek Memorial Hall, which featured a speech by National Taiwan University Associate Professor in society, uh, Sociology, Huang Kexian, on the topic of the authority authoritarian shadows of the cross, how the party run, nation monitors, and infiltrators the Presbyterian Church. Huang had been commissioned by the Executive Yuan's Transitional Justice Commission, TJC, to study the Pre Presbyterian Church in Taiwan as presented in files handed over by national security agencies. According to Huang, the files he reviewed were from between 1965 65 and 1998. If organized into one pie, they were stacked up to approximately two meters tall. However, those files did not include information on several key instances, such as the Declaration of Human Rights in 1977, events before and after the Formosa incident, and the arrest of Reverend Gao Jinmin. The existence of those files provides the Presbyterian Church in Taiwan underwent a period of religion perse persecution. Its members include, in 1974, the Kuomintang came to the region, seizing, seizing copies of the Bible writing in attire or Roman <coughs> Romanized Taiwanese under the guise of the national language policy violations. After the Formosan instance in 1979, when Minister Xi Tianxian were arrested, arrested on the Portune during his December 23, Christmas service by special agents and hoarded away in a person van before his father's eyes. The degree of KMT surveillance of the Presbyterian Church in Taiwan during its authority authoritarian periods is some ways equivalent of the Chinese Communist Party's CCP surveillance now of Christ Chinese Christianity during the authoritarian periods the KMT region did not only monitor the Presbyterian Church in Taiwan it 
monitored religion as a whole, which also includes other Christian denominations, Buddhism, Catholicism, and other local beliefs. However, due to historical reasons, the KMT region was especially serious in its surveillance of the Presbyterian Church in Taiwan. This was because other Christian denominations and most Catholic churches had come to Taiwan along with KMT after uh, it lost the civil war in 1949. It means the Christianity's development in Taiwan was unique. The surveillance, repression of freedom of speech, and arrest of ministers and the pharaohs that Presbyterian Church in Taiwan went through helped it establish a discourse in preaching. It was to strive for the coming of the law or the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Righteousness and peace thus become goal on which the church put emphasis and pursued leading to leading it to have a direct concern for the development of Taiwan's democracy and freedom, as well as anti authoritarianism. As the Presbyterian Church in Taiwan pursues democracy and freedom, it's, it is also forced to face the threats coming from the People, People's Republic of China, PRC. This was hi highlighted when it came to into direct contact with the China Christian Council, CCC, during the 1992 World Council of Churches, WCC even, when expanded the scope of the churches concern beyond Taiwan and make it a fight against China's suppression within the international community. Having gone through persecution and resistance, the Presbyterian Church in Taiwan understand deeply that democracy, freedom, and human rights are affected effective situations in the fight against dictatorship. Therefore, when the CCP began to persecute Christianity in join other group and held a press conference facing support for oppressed Christians. Since uh, 2018, the church has also actively take a Christian who fear China due to oppression from the CCP. In a very real sense, Taiwan became a city of a refuge. As they went, waited to travel to the third country, the Presbyterian Church in Taiwan became their Geranto in Taiwan, helping them with basic living needs, their children's education and medical assistance, allowing them to be cared for after leaving China for another country. The church has also learned from its experience and hope to forge a trusting partnership with the government as well as dom domestic and international organizations. This was why 
during the series of the persecutions following the Umbrella Revolution in Hong Kong, the Presbyterian Church in Taiwan was able to provide immediate help and take a <coughs> activist who feel Hong Kong. I, be I believe the Presbyterian Church in Taiwan's experience of being oppressed makes it an active, steadfast supporter and defender of religious freedom. It also makes itself a, itself a city of refuge that accepts the persecuted, putting righteousness and peace into practice. Of, co of course, from past experience, we know the church was not crushed by pursue from the KMT region thanks to support from its relations with the, lab the WCC. So it will also continue to work with other like-minded organizations to support the religion freedoms. Thank you. <laughs>